What is happening guys? Welcome back to Badge 3D. Thank you all so very much for being here. I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys because I think I've come across what is probably the best 3D printer on the market right now, and that's none other than this bad boy right here, the Creality CR10. Now, I'm not gonna go too into detail on the specifics of the actual printer itself. Um, I'll give you a little bit of an overview of the features, but I'm really gonna try and dumb it down as I always do because uh, that's what I do here on my channel. I make things more simple for the cosplayers trying to get into the 3D printing space so that it doesn't look so scary initially because it's not guys, it's really quite easy once you get a little bit of an understanding of it. So that's what I try to do here on the Badge 3D channel. Now you might be thinking, why is this the best 3D printer for cosplay? Wouldn't just the best 3D printer on the market be the best printer for cosplay by default? Well, not necessarily. So it comes down to a few things. And this isn't just the CR10 specifically. This is what you would look at if you were going to buy a 3D printer as a cosplayer. Easy assembly and user friendly. So we're not necessarily looking to get a 3D printer because we want to do all these you know, crazy modifications and look into all the specifics of how 3D printing works. We just want a machine that can pump out the props or armor pieces that we want and to be able to do that reliably. That's what we want as a cosplayer. And second is the quality. So obviously we need a printer that can pump out high quality prints because a lot of our cosplay armor does have quite intricate little details and things and that's what we need in our prints. We need our printer to capture all that fine detail so that we can rock out our armor to these cons and, and it just looks sick. It's got all the details there and it just looks beautiful. And lastly, the price point. I know you're all so eager to know what the price is of the CR10. Badge, badge, badge. I'm getting all these messages, comments. Guys, not just yet, I'll get to that. Wait, I know everyone loves a good deal and for most, cosplay is just a hobby rather than a lifestyle, but there has never been a better time to get into 3D printing at this price point. So, let's talk about the CR10. It has a 300 by 300 millimeter base and can print up to 400 millimeters high. It has a heated bed and it can print a range of filaments like ABS, PLA, um, PT, PETG, all the basic sort of filaments. Upon looking at the machine on first glance, I thought, oh, I'm not really too sure about that structure. It looks like it could be a little bit uh, flimsy, but it is sturdy. It is stronger than a brick shit house. Firstly, it took me about 45 minutes to complete. It is mostly assembled at the factory. Then all I had to do was load up the filament provided. It's about 500 grams. It's not much, but hey, it's free filament. I mean, some places don't even send you a roll of free filament, which is pretty lousy. Then I chucked some blue tape on the bed for adhesion, and then I leveled the bed. The first few prints were just some batarangs. Uh, just as they're my go-to sort of test print um, just to make sure that I can fine-tune um, My printer and that it's correctly assembled and working Then what I did was I printed the left side of my Superman armor that I'm currently working on because I've done the right side on my Cruiser So that way I can give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the quality against the Cruiser, which is supposedly the current number one printer you know, cost for money on the market right now. So it was a great opportunity for me to do that to show you guys. And I have to say, I'm actually a little concerned and I'll show you why. So if you look at the left print, uh, which was done on the CR10 versus the print that's done on the right, the print on the left actually looks nicer and that was surprisingly done on the CR10. In saying that, I probably need to service my Prusa or slow down the print speed, but I really hate doing that and I'm so glad that the CR10 allows me to print at such a higher speed because it's a Bowden setup type extruder which allows you to do that. Now both of these prints were done at 0.15 layer height which is pretty detailed. It's probably what I would say to be the sweet spot between print time and sanding. And they're both obviously done in black but the material I've used is PLA. Thank you very much to Lumen's Workshop for providing that for me. I'll leave a link down below if you wish to purchase any. Okay, so we've covered Badge 3D's first two golden rules that come into the decision-making process when looking for a 3D printer, but now for the final bullet in the coffin, the price. Badge, Badge, what, how much does it cost? Oh, Badge, Badge, please, can you respond to my message, respond to my comment, how much does the CR10 cost? Okay, so the CR10 sold by a few websites online. I got this one in the video from tinymachines.com and the experience was fantastic. I got it in about 11 days and the, they, they gave me a tracking number. It was sent out really quick 
and it was just an all over great experience. The price was 470 US dollars. You can get them for as low as 400 USD from places like Gearbest, but I would not recommend them because everyone on the CR10 Facebook group is really having a hard time with Gearbest and really slamming them for their service. Apparently it's really bad. To be honest, I actually ordered the CR10 from Gearbest before I ordered the one from Tiny Machines and it still hasn't come. So, you know, work that out. Let's compare that to the Prusa i3. That is considered to be the best value for money printed that you can currently get. Now that's at 700 US dollars. Bear in mind, they do have a seven week lead time due to the high number of orders placed with them. Um, and it'll also take you another week uh, in shipping to get that. So it's nearly a fifth of a fucking year. So. I, honestly, I'll just go the CR10. That's me personally. Get a few other features with the Prusa, such as the automatic bed leveling, but honestly, it's more just a novelty than anything. It's really easy to level the bed on this. And plus, this is bigger. It's much bigger. And that's what we want for cosplay. We want a big printer that works. That's pretty much all we want. A big printer that works well. After getting the machine set up, what I would do is jump onto Facebook, join the CR10 Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the description below because any problems that you are likely to face will have already happened to someone else and you can jump on, search whatever your problem is and it's likely that you will find an answer or a fix to your problem there in the group. Now for anyone using Simplify 3D, I'd also jump into that group and I would type in Chris Elkins. The name should be uh, popping up somewhere here on the screen. Um, he's been so kind as to upload his slicer profile uh, for Simplify 3D and the settings are really good. So jump on, uh, get those uh, settings and upload them into your slicer ASAP. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know so many of you were really eager for this video as I could see on my Instagram. And um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, yeah, you probably should. I'll leave the link down for that below. Please like and subscribe. Tell me what you liked or didn't like about the video. Tell me if you're gonna get a CR10 and um, tag me on Instagram in some of your prints. I'd really love to see them. I really like to know when content that I've put out there has benefited the community. And as I said, the whole purpose of this channel is for me to simplify 3D printing so that more and more cosplayers can get into it and we can start seeing some really sick props and costumes at cons that are 3D printed. Thanks so much guys. Until next time, badge out.